Okay, so you see we're bunched here. Um, we have made for us what, what would be a Louis call. Okay, so we're telling uh, the O line they're going to be sliding back to the right. Okay, they're going away from the call. So we're bunched. We are going to have the over the top mesher coming here. We're going to have the mob route or that middle OTB here. And we're going to be running a circle here. You can see um, by how deep the corner is, the circle is probably not going to be a viable option. Okay, they're giving us a whole lot of respect. Um, for downfield passing game. But what we're going to try and do is take the back right through this hole, right underneath this measure, and go out to the play side flat. All right, that's what we're trying to work towards. We would have versus pressure, we've got a back shoulder uh, up here to the single. The read doesn't change for the quarterback. Okay, you can see he takes his eyes. We're not going to get the circle. Okay, he knows that. They're getting a ton of depth. Okay, so they actually take the overhang. He's getting depth, which will happen sometimes with um, the guy running the circle. Okay, and you've already got the corner super deep. The other thing I want to point out, we've already gone over scab, and I want to show you, like, look at the initial kind of breakdown of this and how it kind of looks like this could be a scat type pattern, a little spacing. We may, it looks like we got a guy going over the ball, a guy that's taking an angle. It could possibly be a hole. The guy running the circle route. I want a lot of these patterns to look alike. Okay, so you can see the back uh, slip through. Okay, he's going to find the quickest hole that he can, and we want him to rub underneath the over the top measure, which is our tight end. Okay, so they're not quite close enough to slap hands like you traditionally see. Okay, but he's underneath, and they have no flat player. So we're able to really quickly get a really good ba uh, ball player, the ball in space, and we're off to the races. Okay, third down, able to pick up a first down. Okay, so just a really simple tag for us. Run the back through, nothing changes, get him the ball in space. Okay, really good man deal. Okay, here's another version, exact same thing. We're a little tighter on the bunch. Um, again, you can see just how deep the corner is. We're probably not going to get the circle, but we're going to make a Louie call, okay, and the back's going to be able to slip right through. Okay, so there's the hole and half slide protection. You can see him slip. He goes right underneath the mesher. Okay, you can see they're, they got guys running around all over the place trying to sort out who's got what, and nobody has the back. Okay, that, and that's hard on them. Okay, you can see that they're spot dropping on the backside, looking for work. There's nobody there. The back just slips completely. Nobody has a clue where he is, and we're able to get in the ball and get a nice gain. I mean, this is really, really, really easy throws a wide open guy and it's just based off stuff that we're already doing you can see how clean it is and how open we get him okay this is a version this is a playoff game big game uh second round of the playoffs this is not perfect okay this is just to show you how it goes bad so we call the protection wrong all right we want the protection to be sliding this way if at all possible Okay, so we can slip this back through on the front side. Well, what happens is he has to go through the back side, and you can kind of see the repercussions of this. Okay, he's back, so it's taking him forever to get there. All right, he's having to come around, so the quarterback is waiting. You can see, same as always, everybody's running with the circle route. That's a good player. Okay, quarterback's waiting, waiting, waiting. Now he's got to move. He ends up getting hit in the head, decked. Now, things work out great for us. We get the ball and score. But you can see how this is not what we want because it takes too long. And if we're able, we don't have good pass protection, then we could have been in big trouble here. The quarterback has got a lot of savvy, kind of just steps up, buys some time, is able to dink it to him, and end up scoring the touchdown. Okay, So it could have been better, could have been a lot cleaner, but still works out for us. All right, I want to show you at least had to go to a 7-on-7 seven -seven clip uh, to get you uh, us throwing the circle. Here's more of a – uh, a look that's conducive to throwing it. The corner uh, has eyes inside and doesn't really see him. And just like all the other circles we've been talking about, we throw this back shoulder. Quarterback's going to take it if he can. You can see we work the mesh there between the tight end and the running back. And they do a good job on that part of it. This is zone, so you've got a better chance of throwing the mob also, which is always a good zone option. We just throw the back shoulder there. Able to get it completed for a touchdown in 7-on-7. Seven seven. Not real football, but still gives you a good idea of seeing the concept and just seeing how the quarterback would take that if that was there. Okay. Uh, you also, this is really, really, really easy for empty. Okay. If you think about that, that's actually an easier way to do this. Um, it's just not quite, you don't have the, you know, it's not as unique as having the back do it um, and be as unusual for linebackers. 
Um, you're less likely for us if we go empty to get man. But here's just a look at if we were in empty, nothing changes. The back's just coming underneath on the mesh. You can see the overhang matches the uh, circle. We just throw the drag right in that space. So it's the same thing, just another 707 look to give you a good look at being able to throw this and doing some other stuff with it. Um, if you get a zone look, so there are situations where this doesn't work out. This is a great look from the uh, drone view where you can see how quickly the running back slips out because of the protection call. So it's a Louis call for us. So now he's got a nice um, big gap lane to get out to the flat. They're playing zone. They pass off the circle. You got a hang player wide to take away the mesh, and so you've got to be able to get back to the zone component of your mesh concept. So we're able to throw the mob there. It's not beautiful. We would, we would rather really settle and stick and us be able to gut throw that thing in there. But there's being able to throw the mob, so you know, kind of work through the different things we can throw.